In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to download and install the MP3 plugin that's required to be installed the first time that you run Audacity on your Mac operating system. So what I'm doing here is I'm just getting ready to export a test file that I've created in Audacity. And basically, this here is the prompt window that will come up uh, asking you to download that MP3 plugin. So what you'll want to do is select the download button here and that'll open up uh, one of your internet web browsers and take you to the next step. So once the web browser opens, you're basically going to want to go to this link here which takes you to the download page. Um, and you can ignore the fact that it says Windows at the top there because there is going to be an option for you to select your Mac operating system once you click on that link. So once you're on this web page, what you're going to need to do is scroll down to the bottom where they have all of the different options uh, depending on what operating system you're working with for you to select. So if you aren't sure which system you're working on, that's where you'll want to go back into your system preferences. Uh, so click that little apple at the top left corner of your computer and find out the information about your Mac. So my operating system is 10.6, so I'll be selecting that option from the links below. So that should download pretty quickly once you've selected that file. And what you'll want to do is just double click on it uh, to open the file up in your finder window. Okay. And it's a packaged file, which means you just have to double click on it again to get it to open up and show you all the contents of the file itself. And the next few steps are pretty straightforward. Um, it's just going to be about following the installation prompts in the pages here. You just want to make sure that you're selecting the right uh, disk drive. You want it to be on your computer's main drive that you're installing this software. So the same drive that has the Audacity file on it. And now it's just a simple matter of going back into your Audacity program, selecting OK, and you should be good to go at this point. And now that you've installed the MP3 plugin, you will not have to do it ever again. Uh, your Audacity program should run, and you are ready to go and start audio editing.